All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He's done. He's done. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, big left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He is all about that left kick to the body. What a punch. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice kick landed there by Costa. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. And he can nice liver shot lands. So 31 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Costa's kick attempt there blocked. Look at the turnover in that kick. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Look at him working at trying to perfect body shot there. He's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Costa's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Oh! Big kick. Nice body shot. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? You ready? All right, Fight. second round underway. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw him. That was crazy. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Went for the inside leg kick. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. 
Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, that's, oh, that's in there, DC, he massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Steady. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on the... Oh! Oh, man, look at that one body shot, did that? Power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Costa's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's done, he's done! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 18 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paolo the Eraser. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that... All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go, All guys. Right, so fight. here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they... Oh, he's hurt. Well, he is... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh! All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping his elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Fire back. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. They continue to exchange. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight, elbow tight, big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
All right, so the big story line. That strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Visibly limping here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to oh. chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. They're going at it now. One minute left in the round. One minute left in the round. Stay strong. We got this, OK? Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making oh. sure enough of land. Goes down again. Back to the feet. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> don't stop. Come on, don't stop. Ten seconds to go. Well, no surprise. He can show a strong five minutes down. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Here let's we are, play. early round two. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Silva gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Vanderlei Silva. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He landed a good uppercut oh. there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get going. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he's got him hurt here. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Let's focus. Let's focus now. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, big left. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buff.
Coming up next, a middleweight tilt between Robert Whitaker and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. You ready? You ready? Well, I might need to borrow that inhaler, DC, before we get through this one. Round one is underway between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya. Whitaker was born in New Zealand, but he claims Australia, and of course, Adesanya trying to come up large for the Kiwis here tonight. And Adesanya has taken offense to that because he loves New Zealand. He cannot understand how Whitaker, who was born there, doesn't represent the country. <laughs> he has an opportunity to really stick it to Robert tonight in this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful display on the feet there by the champ out of sun. You haven't seen many guys that have come from straight kickboxing and done as well as the last style bender. He's a fantastic fighter, and that's why he's skyrocketed to the top of the division. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Effective punch there by Robert Whitaker. Oh, slips to avoid the rights. Oh, uppercut lands. What a fight we got going on here. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, fades upstairs and lands rush to the If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Oh, shot right on the button. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, big left. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asani. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Tower, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barred. All right, Bruce Buffer. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and Darren Till.
You ready? You ready? Let's All right, crowd right. getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, oh. stop. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. So 28 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Liver kick. Oh, Darren Till with style points there. Man, every time this guy lands DC, you're hearing the U's and the O's from the crowd. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a big strike right there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, you see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Trying to find a home for that right hand. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> focus, focus. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes oh. up top. Oh, good kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Till's lower jaw does not look. The inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. All right, with that, we now present round two. Israel Adesanya versus the gorilla Darren Till. Oh, Till gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, big Got DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. So unofficially, 63 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Vicious kick. combo there!
Body attack, and it's blocked. Under three minutes now to go in the round. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He got him. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent left him. He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Israel Adesanya gets back up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big left. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both of these liver shot lands. That's it. Yo, wow. That was nasty. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So there he is after the big... All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the...